Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to Prismata, a card-based, very fast CCG game. Let's get into it, showing you the campaign with Junkers. Crime is so rare that in the autonomous desert city of Centauri, and only one guardian swarm wielder is kept on the paywall. He doesn't like his job very much. Let's do it! So the game is mostly multiplayer. The campaign is... There are four or five chapters, but only one is available freely, the rest you have to buy. Beacon! A tidally locked planet, one half always faces the sun, receiving constant daylight. The other side remains in perpetual darkness. Centauri, solar power generation outpost. So, obviously I'm doing the campaign and not the multiplayer to show how things go. Very deserty. Municipal security headquarters, administrative district, Centauri, urban core. So I've seen a couple of people play the game. It's very fast paced and different to how normal card games are played out. I like the twist to it. Let's see if we can get to it. Giselle, any work for me today? Guardian Swarm Builder, Municipality, Education, Torin Prime Military Academy. 47% East Asian, 23% Iberian, 70% Eastern, 5% North African, 8% other. Most recent search query is what do you do when bored at work, job postings, and do straws have one hole or two? I like that. Hello, Swade. No deploy requests in the last 578 days, sir. Giselle, insentient robot. Insentient. Installed modules, office administration, data intelligence, swarm wielding assistance. Okay. And my job continues to bring me endless excitement, fulfillment, and purpose. <sighs> I'll be at the bar. Swede! Hello, Logan. Most recent search queries. Tooth feels a bit loose sometimes. Cool robot chassis mods. Why does cilantro taste like absolute garbage? Sub Saharan African. Yeah, intriguing. 24% Native American. Huh. My contract allows remote work. It's not that. There's a situation down at St. Joey Robotics Factory. I told him last time we are responsible for parking disputes. No, oh, we just received an incident report. Code Red. Apparently one of their robo custodians pushed a foreman over a three-story catwalk railing. That can't be right. It's probably another jumper. Two witnesses called it in. You need to check it out. All right, at least it's on the way to the bar. As you can tell, I'm bored with my life. Six minutes later, not that far away. Okay, I'm here. Where's the casualty? Did they already scrape him off the pavement? And the victim was barely alive. They took him to the emergency care. Apparently, a whole batch of robots went crazy. People are evacuating. Wait, can't the supervisors just turn them off? And they've tried everything. The bots are completely ignoring override and shutdown commands. You need to terminate them with extreme prejudice. <laughs> Most actually had on the job in months. Got your Prismata slate? Yep, it's right here. Let's see if this thing still works. So this is the Prismata, is how you control combat. Bottom is you, top is them. Activate your assembler. Then you click on it, it makes a unit. The assembler creates a steel spitter. Intriguing. And there's their turn. So as you can see, that's how it works. So I use the assembler to build a unit. I then click on that, it does the combat. So each steel spitter contributes one point of damage to your attack pool. Damage dealt at the end of each turn. So you get to damage, then you click. And it damages them, that's how it works. Dead simple, so as you can see, you slowly build up your damage, you then click on them, you proceed to damage, and then you do damage like that. So it's not like each target gets attacked by a certain card, you just dump the damage upon the target unit. So you know, you build it up, say maybe you had 50 of these, have 15 damage, as opposed to attack, attack, attack. As you can see, I am dragging. You literally you can drag across and do the damage. Wiped him out. Good. Well, that was easy. Actually, there are quite a few more for you to take out. Ah, looks like somebody at Century Robotics is getting fired. They screw up the latest software update. I'm not sure yet, they're still looking into it, but I booted up a second assembler for you. Nice, that should speed things up. So, obviously, there's different card types, different weapon types, different equipment types. You know, like, there's all sorts of weird things. Like, you'll get into that as we go along, but the game is a lot more tactical than you might imagine. Let's hit these... No, I want to hit the scrapper here. Then we're going to go mouse over and see what they actually say. Here's a book. Domestic Sanitation Automaton. It's a Roomba with arms and an eye. Scrapper. Urban Cleanliness Automaton. Okay. Do that. Do that. 
receive the damage. So obviously you want to hit the big targets first, because so you actually can choose where to do the rest of the damage. The way the damage works, which it doesn't really tell you, is you can only kill a target if your damage is equal to its health. So if I dropped, say, seven damage on these guys and one of the four guys was left, I wouldn't be able to even damage him. You have to kill shot them, you can't injure them. That's how this works. Kill shots, not injuries. So Toy Robotics just sent me an update. Everything built in the last 40 hours has been corrupted. That's a lot of junkers. You want me to scrap them all? Uh, it's the only option. Want me to send over the Odin? It's still assembled in the hangar. The Odin? That level of firepower is total overkill for this job. Send it over. I like you. So as you can see, there's now different types. So each group stays together. So let's robot it up. Dumpster bot. Municipal waste management automaton. It is literally a forklift with a bin. So let's do that. Click consumer steel spits again. Okay, so I click on it, it just gives me an extra four. Activating Odin Sacrifice's steel splitter to deal four damage. So obviously I want to hit the big guys first and slowly work my way down. Of course, the early bit, they're not going to attack back. We are just learning how to game. Assemblers, robots, activate. Okay, take out these, and then some of these, as you can see, I can't injure, only destroy. So make sure that is a factor when you are playing. You have to devastate the enemy. Perfect. Of course, I didn't have to sacrifice that last steel splitter, but who the hell cares, they're there for my amusement. So, there's a further complication. Centauri Robotics can't stop the production line. Huh. Oh, huh? The whole factory went nuts. Uh, correct, it's pumping out corrupted scrappers at maximum speed. The factory computers are rejecting all commands, so they can't even power it down. They need you to shut it off by force. Tell them it won't be a problem. We're blowing up the factory! As you can see, the bot factory is now building. Destroy the Centurion Robotics factory, destroy all malfunctioning sanitation automatons. Start of turn, construct a scrapper. So that's going to be building the four pointers, that's fine. Again, you can only destroy, not injure, so that has 20 health. And of course it's building a unit each turn, so I will need 24 health to annihilate them. So let's take out the big guys and the little guys, it will work like that, enter. So we are doing what we can, like maybe we can actually destroy the factory, but I don't know, it is behind the line, so I'll have to see. So... Assembling, destroying, annihilating, dirty damage, take out these, take out that, some of these, there we go. Kill shots, not injuries. 20. Well, we can take it out. You don't get to build any more factory. Uh, Perfect. So I have seen some um, actual battles going on in the actual lobby. You can actually watch other people's plays, high level. And there are defensive units which you have to attack first. Of course, this early in the stage of the game, there aren't. So it will teach us new things. Obviously, this is designed to get you into the game so you can play against other people. Swade, you really trashed the place. Look at that, fire and smoke. I just decommissioned a corporate soup can factory, you know. I guess that was pretty simple compared to fighting in the war, huh? I am a soldier, you can tell by my armour. Nothing compares to that. So, the war, where these swarm wielders went to battle with thousands of robots. The slate's interface was so primitive back then you had to individually control every unit in the swarm. That would have been pretty tough. Now you just point and click. Just point and click. Yeah, about that. We need to have a talk. If you want to talk, you know where to meet me. The bar. Gotta get my bar on. So like I say, the first campaign is available episode 1, the other episodes you do have to buy. After eliminating several batches of malfunctioning robo-custodians, Swade heads over to the bar to unwind. Logan joins him to discuss today's events. Ooh, this bar is nice and shiny. Square Wave, the only bar in Centauri. Ha! What a massacre, they don't even have enough junkers left to haul away the carcasses. It's a good thing you were gentle when you shut down the factory. Yeah, I blew holes in the side of it. Of course, I employed the utmost surgical precision when I violently demolished the place. He looks very happy. Oh yeah, so about that. Back at the factory, you seemed a bit rusty with the swarm loading interface. 
Oh, I look upset now. I look very upset. Oh yeah? Says who? Says the built-in analysis software. Damn you, Siri! It also says that your continuing education login hasn't been used in 455 days. I'm very, very upset now. I was called in to handle some robots, they handled them. Leave it at that. But, you used to love training and practicing. Oh, now I look really sad and melancholy. Back when it mattered. The war is over, Logan. Being a swarm builder feels pointless when there's no one to fight. Well, what about the tournaments? The tournaments were great, back when it took real skill to win them. Well, shouldn't you at least try to pass the simulations? Screw the sims, give me some real action and you'll see how it's done, I'm upset again. Gentlemen, apologies for the interruption, but we received another urgent incident report. More hostile sanitation automatons were sighted in downtown Centauri, they're damaging vehicles. What? Did we miss some of them? You look into it, I'm heading out there and I'm taking a swarm of drones this time. So we're going to be meeting a new type of unit, and the building mechanics, I think. This, okay, drones. So drones, each drone produces one gold per turn. Gold is stored at the end. Construct a blast forge, as you can see. Blast forges make... Uh, bohemium. I can use steel splitters and drakes with bohemium and gold. So you can slowly start learning. End turn. Each blast forge produces one bohemium per turn. Okay. So obviously I want to keep on building, oh, additional gold, so I activate my drones, build another of those, build a steel splitter. So as you can see, when you put a unit down, it tells you how long it takes, like, obviously this is going to take a turn to activate, this is going to take a turn to activate. As you can see, these are blockers, which means they have to be hit first before they can hit the things behind them. That's how it works. Resources, activate drones to get gold, activate blast forge to produce one bohemium per turn. So from what I've seen in the bigger battles, there's actually a lot of different resources, like five or six. There's different ways you can go about building your ideal, you know, warframe as it were. Oh, what do you want? So I installed this nice chat app on your state on your slate. What do you think? I don't give a damn. Why are there more wacko junkers in downtown Centauri? Don't know yet. These are from the city fleet. They've been working fine for ages. So the fresh out of the factory bots weren't the only ones that went screwy. Guess not. I'll look into it. Thank you. You were useless. I now have damage and I can't do much. We are learning how to fight and murder them. Let's get... Consumers of Blast Force again. Next to two. Okay, put that down. Can't hit the big guys yet, so I got the smaller ones. Okay, so as you can see, the Drake automatically gave me power. But if I click on it... It will give me an extra two power. Obviously right now I kind of don't want to do that. So we're going to stick with the five. So certain units have special abilities. Like I say, the Drake will always give me power, but I don't have to use it. Good to know. In case you accidentally, you know, activate them and don't realise you're wasting your own troops. Suede, there's something going on near building NW12. It's just more junkers. Tell someone to tip them over. They're not even fighting back. Well, it looks serious. You get over there when you're done. All right, I'll hurry. So yeah, I don't have to activate the Drake, but if I want to, I can. Six damage. Take out that. Take out these. Can the kill shots, not injuries. Okay, let's get a time. So steel split us a time fitter then. Actually, let's drop one of these down. Take the damage. There we go. And take him out. We're done. We're done here. Uh, Swage, you need to get to the northwest plaza right away. Alright, I'll take the jumpster. Ooh, jumpster. I wonder if it jumps. Or it's like a roadster. It's only roads. The jumpster. Personal subsonic aircraft. Oh, I'm okay with this. Lift off. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Is that debris just there? So, Logan, what's going on? It's bad. There's a swarm of unpiloted Centauri robotic drones constructing other units. Unpiloted drones with nobody wielding them? Just building stuff on their own? Correct, right now they're only building more public sanitation bots, but... Drones can construct nearly anything. Out of control drones are a serious threat. I know. Did the whole Centauri robotics never go off the deep end? Perhaps. 
All the tasks were assigned by centralized artificial intelligence. That's optimized. That optimizes for efficiency. And we decided to optimize urban cleanliness by chasing out all the humans. I robots. Ha! Ah, that's pretty unlikely with all of the Eliza's AI safety laws. Well, Eliza's dogs will be here in no time if these drones start building stuff that knows how to shoot. Looks like I'm here. So the drones are the ones which make the gold. Obviously, you use the gold to build more things. So we're now fighting drones which are building their troops. So they're not fighting yet, but there you go. Drones are now available for construction. Drones require energy which are produced by engineers. I can't build engineers yet, but they give me two energy each time. That's fine, let's get two more drones, and we'll build a, a Blast Forge next turn. So they're building stuff themselves, obviously we're trying to keep up. There we go. So as you can see, we have those guys which are blockers, these guys are not activated blockers. Okay, you can use Ctrl Z or Backspace to undo commands during your turn. Okay, that's fine, Control Z or Backspace. So obviously right now, these aren't blocking because I've activated them. So let's get a Drake down. Next turn. And any resources you don't use gets wasted. Discard at the end of your turn. As you can see, gold is stored, bohemium and energy is discarded. Let's get another drone or two. Get another steel splitter. That's my first one, actually. And proceed. As you can see, the drones are only blockers if they're not activated whatsoever. So, yeah, keep in mind what you're doing whenever you do it. Okay, let's uh, bring down some of those. I know the drones are priority targets right now, but it doesn't matter too much. Uh, another one of those, another one of these, do that. Uh, there we go. Bring down the drones. Luckily, they're not trying to kill me, but yes, as you can imagine, this game will get quite tactical and hectic. Win by turn 18. What turn is it? 16. Uh oh. Hey Swade, I want to construct a software or conduct a software autopsy on these drones. Can you grab one of their logic chips from the debris when you're done? Yeah, if I can find without any holes in it. Turn okay, turn 18. I can't do that. Take damage. Uh and the turn. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do it turn 18, okay. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm not going to do this. I don't have the resources. Uh. Turn 18. Nope, didn't do it. Dang that bit. Turn 19, I failed. Oh well, it doesn't matter anymore then. But yeah, I'd have liked to have done that if I didn't. I just didn't notice it. Okay. Do that, do that, do that. Dude, murder. Okay. Oh, I didn't even turn, of course. Victory! Ooh! Reach level 4 to unlock the Omega. New blueprint acquired. I have a energy matrix, which is a wall. Prompt blocks immediately. Start of turn, game two. Excellent! Victory! All my functioning drones and sanitation automatons have been eliminated. So I'll do one more, and then we'll end this. This is a first impression, after all, not a campaign. Or is it? Maybe we'll do more. Who knows? Whew, that was a close one. I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, a couple more steel spitters and we would have gone over budget again. Ugh. Maybe you shouldn't have blown all our money on Giselle's upgrades. She turned out to be pretty useful today. You should come back to the office. It's your turn to follow the reports this week. Fine. Can't really complain after getting to blow up this much stuff in one day. I'm amazing. Okay, you've got to do it overheated. Logan is worried that the Centurion Robotics Artificial Intelligence Systems may be compromised by a widespread software problem. Swade brings a logic chip back to Century Garden Headquarters for further study. Let's do this. Century, a few minutes later. Obviously everything's happening pretty fast. I hope Century Robotics has really good insurance. I don't get distracted, you need to file one justification report for each unit deployed in battle. Wait, what? Why are you pressing buttons on those things while they're still locked? 
I don't know, just something to do, like sipping out of an empty cup. Oh my god. Hey, Giselle, did you find anything useful on those drones? The non-conforming robots were industrial grade civilian constructing dro construction drones running the standard firmware. They were manufactured by Centauri Robotics as part of a 40 unit order for the municipality of Centauri. Cause of malfunction? Unknown. Results of the post combat physical analysis and software autopsy are still pending. Hey, Logan, we secured the air, right? Are all the robots accounted for? Uh, yes, why? Look outside. What? Are those military sentries? They have guns! Uh oh. What the hell is going on? Are they attacking us? So now we get to see some actual combat. I deploy the defences and power up the overheat ray. Mm. I'll get set up. Those little shits aren't going to wander into my city. Swearing! Tough gun bots. Okay. Oh, look at this. We have walls and energy matrix as engineers. And there's a lot of gun bots that are right outside the office. Yeah, I see them. It's no problem. I've got the overheat ray wielded. Time to turn your soup cans into slag. Wait, the heavy ray can't fire, it's still charging up. You've got to hold the morph until it's ready. Make another wall. Relax, I've got this. So, right now, obviously, we have this, which is a blocker, blocker, blocker. Walls block and prompt block immediately. We'll take it. So, as you can see, it's called the gold blocks immediately. When the enemy attacks, you'll begin your turn with a defense phase. Use your blockers to soak up incoming damage. As you can see, we'll be doing that, and we'll be taking the hits. So this prompt blocks immediately, blocks all the damage, and obviously it doesn't kill it. So do that and that. There we go. End the phase. We're taking the hits. So wait, I just checked the cams, and there are a lot more gunbots approaching. They're surrounding us. Shit, do we have any more defences? Anything you can boot up? Probably not. I'll look into it, but you better make as many walls as you can. I'm on it. So yeah. We need to make walls because they get the good prompt straight away to absorb all the damage. Gun bots and tough gun bots, okay. Uh, six. Uh oh. There we go. Gonna lose one each time. Oh my god, there's so many more. Look at that. There are tons of them. Are they going to breach the defences? Uh, it's fine, they'll break through, but they won't be able to take out the overheat ray. We'll get a shot off. Oh yeah, that's 10 health. Okay, so we just need... See this? It says your, the enemy can breach your defences, so we need more of these. Uh oh End turn. These won't be blocking. Oh no. Um... Oh my god, everything died. Oh no, they broke through your poor drones! Time for some revenge. It looks like the enemy all charged up. Yep, and I freaking love firing this thing. This has 30 damage. Click, game 30. Well, yes, sure. Of course I'll click. Oh, look at that. Hey, I'm in the hangar. I found a few more drones and engineer. I just sent them out, to, out front to help. You're kind of late. Um, You only took out about a third of the gun bots. The rest will be here in a few minutes. Oh, no. How long until we can fire the overheat ray again? It's called the overheat ray for a reason. It needs to call off for the next shot. Damn it. Don't worry. On the look of things, you probably have time to rebuild some defences. Okay, I'm on it. Keep looking for more reinforcements. So now I have engineers. Drones are now available for construction. So obviously I want to put walls down, because otherwise I will lose my engineer. So it's currently the only way to build more drones, because I only have one power coming in. Hello. Looks like a couple of stragglers still attacking. I need to worry a single wall can hold these off forever. Yeah, right now it's fine. Let's get another drone up and another wall. So we're going to take a lot of hits. Uh oh. Uh, here they come. Uh, no kidding, a bunch of them just showed up on the screen. You've got to keep your hit ray safe at all costs. Uh, don't worry, there's no way I'm going to let a bunch of soup cans take my favourite toy. Yeah, I like this thing. Get another drone. We can keep building walls as long as we have drones. Okay, oh, that's powering up, so that'll be saved, that'll be saved, that's a loss. Click the toggle. When activated drones and still splitters can block. Yes, I know. But 
right now. We need more walls. Okay, that's nine damage. That's fine. We need the money right now. Killing them all, unfortunately. Okay. Okay, that'll give us time. Uh, oh. Okay, end of turn. Okay, we did it. Oh, I lost the engineer. So I searched the whole hangar. I found a few more drones from steel splitters, but there it isn't much back there. Well, nothing but damn, how many more gunbots are there? Uh, only one more wave of them, but from the looks of things on the satellite feed, it's massive. How come your V-Ray takes so long to call off? Can't you dump a tank of water on it or something? I could, but now you want to fire it again? Damn it, Logan. Okay, I've got two engineers, okay. Uh, what can I build engineers? Good. Okay, I can now go to engineers, I can now get power in every turn. That means I can get more drones. Fa three phases of a turn. One is defend against enemy attack. Two is activate and buy units, and three is attack by assigning damage. Can't burn anymore. Okay. Let's do it. So I apply damage, they don't have any defences, that's fine. There we go. We can do this. Actually, if they have 10 damage, that is one... We can take the hit on that, it can take the hit. Actually, no, it can't. Um, uh, Okay. Uh, and turn. Oh, thank God I took the hit and I'm still alive. Okay. 11 hits, that is. Mm. No, not you, go away. I need more walls. Okay, that'll be. Fine, I'll use all the walls though. Okay, keep the damage. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, uh. More drones. Oh no, I'm going to get the hits on the engineers! Oh no, engineers are down. Come on, we can do this. Uh. Okay, that'll be six. Yeah, I can do that. I'm using the engineers as walls. That's fine. Oh my! Uh, there are too many of them! I'm gonna have to put these drones on defense to protect the overheat rate. Right. Do what you need to do. Okay, how much damage do I have? Uh, 25, 28? Oh no. Do it! Oh! Rest in peace, drones. May we always remember their noble sacrifice. I cry out loud, Logan, they're insentient. <sighs> Logan. Die. Did it! So that was Prismata. You get to see how the campaign works and how most of the mechanics work. Of course, it will get more advanced from here on out, but either way, this has been a first impression. If you enjoyed it, as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Your comment, I will apply if you'd like the series account for longer. Who's that indie? Bringing indie games straight to your face hole. Strategic, tactical, survival. And of course, if you do subscribe, you do become part of the forum, you do know new videos and series come out. At the end of the last battle, I will see you in Valhalla.
I like this game. This is pretty fun. Ciao for now, people. Bye-bye.